Section 10.3, Properties of Chords. Chords, diameters, and arcs. We know that chords divide the circle into two arcs. A diameter is going to divide a circle into two semicircles. Because we see that a diameter cuts our circle perfectly in half, giving us those two semicircles. A chord that is not a diameter, so it's not going to pass through our center, will divide our circle into a minor arc and a major arc. So we know we have our minor arc, the smaller of the two arcs, and our major arc, which is the bigger of the two arcs. Theorem 10.3 tells us that in the same circle or congruent circles, so if we have two congruent circles, we know they're congruent if their radius is the same. Two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. So what we see is this, that if, and we'll just put this in the same circle for if we see that AB is congruent to arc CD, then we know that AB and CD are congruent. So if their arcs are congruent, then their chords are congruent. This works the other way as well. If the two chords are congruent, so if segment AB is congruent to segment CD, then the two arcs must be congruent. Arc AB is congruent to arc CD. So if arcs are congruent, then the corresponding chords are congruent. And if chords are congruent, then corresponding arcs are congruent. The important thing is, of course, this needs to be in either the same circle or in congruent circles. Well, let's look at an example. Example one, congruent chords and arcs. We're going to use the diagram of circle A as shown below to find and answer the following questions. Okay, first thing first, in our circle, we notice that BC is congruent to CD, so the chords BC and CD are congruent, which means their corresponding minor arcs are also congruent. So arc BC is congruent to arc CD. Let's see, we're told that if BC is 110 degrees, we want to find the measure of arc CD. Well, if BC is 110 degrees, then the measure of arc CD must also be 110 degrees. Now let's look at part B. So completely new problem. C, if measure of arc BD is 150 degrees, we want to find the measure of arc BC. Well, we know that whatever BC is, CD is the same, and that the total degrees in a circle are 360. So we see that 150 degrees plus x plus x equals 360 degrees, meaning that 150 plus 2x equals 360. 2x equals 360 minus 150, which is 210. x is going to equal 105 degrees. So what we get is that the measure of arc BC, which is the same as the measure of arc of CD, is 105 degrees.